Hi and welcome back. So I'm back here on the campaigns page and you just click on campaigns and you'll be in the same page as me. Now I want to create landing pages in this video. So you saw that if you want to create a landing page, you have to start through campaigns. So I'll just click on create a campaign. And then here you can create your landing page. You'll just come here and choose create a landing page. Then you give your landing page a name. So if it is a sign up page, maybe you want people to sign up to something and you're telling them about that product when they are signing up, you can do a sign up page or you can do a product page. Now with the product page, you need to have a store connected to MailChimp and you can connect Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento. There's a video I did about this in the e-commerce automations and you'll see how you can connect your store. Let's say we want to create a sign up page. So with the sign up page, I'll give it a name. And then you select the list and we'll use our sample list right there and then begin. Now this is the best part because these are things that you know how to do. When it comes to creating templates, these are things you know how to do. You can use all the elements which are here to create the best template, the awesomest template that you can create and make sure that your landing page looks as good as you want it to be. If you want this to be up here, you'll just click on it and you move it. Okay, you can add your logo. Let's say, let me see which image I have. And I will go and replace the image. Let's, so it's a logo that I need. Let me use this one. It looks to be tiny. Once you select this, you'll click on insert. And the image will be inserted in there. Of course you want before even you have this, you need to give people a heading. So let me save and close. And then this heading, you can move your heading up here and you can add any of these other blocks. Okay. So let's change this so that we don't get any warnings about this. There, make sure you give it a heading that's relevant to what the landing page is about. And then you can use this, add your text content in there. You can even add an, an image. Click on image and you can add an image within it. Insert the image. And if you want this image to link somewhere, add the link in there. I don't want it to link anywhere, so I'll just click on save and insert image. Save and close. You can, you can also edit all the elements about this, like if you want maybe to give people a download. You can style the buttons however you want. Everything here can be changed. The colors of all these elements can be changed. And then the confirmation, you see, you can write whatever you want. Maybe here in the confirmation, you want to give people some download. You can add the link of the download here. You can add the link of the download so that once they sign up, they can download whatever it is they're downloading. File. Let's go to the file. You want to give them a PDF or anything. In my case, I don't have any PDFs here, but I have an image. So if you don't have a PDF in here, just go ahead and upload it. Okay. The link to upload usually is here. Let me uncheck that. And you see up here, we have the option to upload, just upload whatever it is you want to share with your audience. So I can insert that as well. Once they subscribe, they'll receive these things and then they will receive this link to download it. And then save and close. So you know how to create templates. Okay. This is just building a template and you can create your template. However, you want to create it. You can add all these other things here, all these other blocks, just use whichever block that you want to use. 
add whatever you want to add here let's see if we can add an image i will add that image there insert and then browse for another image and then insert so let's say that's it maybe at the bottom down here let's save and close first and then at the bottom you want to add these social media icons right there and so it's very important for you to know the goal of the landing page what is the goal is the goal for people to go somewhere else if the goal is for people to go somewhere else maybe you're telling them about a specific course then you can add a button or a better way is for you to make sure that at least you capture their email before they go to that link so you saw the way i said download and then in the let me click on this confirmation you see the way i added this link here maybe this link once they click it it will take them to the right link where they'll get a coupon like udemy you can create uh, coupon links so that when somebody clicks the coupon is already added to the price of the product so they'll get the discount once they click the link so if it is something like that then you can use the confirmation to do that and you won't need to add any button in this page if that's the case first of all you tell them about the product tell them what the product does why they should get it or why it's important to them and then you can move this down here let's come here you can move it down here maybe assume this one there maybe they don't have any purpose but i'm just adding them to show you that you can add any elements save that and close let's just add a text box here sign up below so you can increase the font size of this let's make it 32 so that at least it can look like a heading and then you can make it bold and save so you'll go into the confirmation and add the correct link like i've shown you in my case i'm using a download okay i'm just showing you using a download for the image but it all depends on what you want so you'll come here in the confirmation and whatever link you want to add there that's the one that you need to add okay so you can use all these elements to edit your your landing page however you want to create it it's all entirely up to you it is yours you can do whatever you want with this just make sure you tell people everything about the product or the event or whatever it is you're trying to sell and then down here this will act like the call to action okay you see this this is going to act like your call to action you sign up below to get it maybe up here you can start by telling them down below you'll find a form down below there is a form that will enable you to get access to this product and then you can go on and continue telling them about the product at least that prepares them and also let those people who are impatient know where they can get this product immediately some people don't want to read lots of things if they want something they will get it at that point that they want it some people still need to be convinced and you can write a bunch of text here so you have to at least in the first first sentence or the first paragraph in fact the best is the first sentence you tell them that down below you'll find a form that will enable you to join this course right away or will enable you to download this product right away so make sure you do that at the very first line and then you can go ahead and tell them about the product make sure you also use titles and you know title titles are very good for readability so it's one of the one of the things that is most recommended for good copywriting you use titles to separate things and instead of writing a bunch of blocks of text use list items okay you use list items so let's say maybe let me click on this and we come back here and we want to add instead of a bunch of text the features of this product are it is good it is very usable a lot of people love it no just say here features of the products and then this so you write features of the products i want to i don't want to type i don't want to type a lot 
so and then you can use that as a heading and then let me just copy this control c control v so instead of using these blocks of text features of the products you make them uh you make them list items okay so if i do that and i click on this i can use list items with numbers or just an ordered list items so let me use the ordered list items and you'll see that it will bring the numbers and stuff so this is very good for readability instead of writing blocks of text do this it will help reduce bounce rate on the landing page if you write blocks of text not everybody loves to read people love to scan through things so there this is your call to action section that's pretty much it for my landing page yeah that's it for my landing page you can add anything else that you want to add if you've connected your store if you have a promo code you can drag these elements here products you can show the list of your products there or specific products so if you want to connect your store just go to the section about automations and campaigns there is a video there about e-commerce somewhere there i connected my store uh, on shopify with my mailchimp account it's a very simple process so it's it's nothing complicated if you're using WooCommerce, there's a plugin for that. If you're using Magento, there's also an app for that. So that's it for this part. You can preview. Let's preview our our landing page. There's my landing page and it was pretty unplanned, so make sure you plan yours accordingly. Use good copywriting skills at least to get people to the point where they are signing up. So let's say for instance that uh, I try to sign up so that I can download my item. Let's just see what's going to happen. You see, as soon as that happens, I will get the the confirmation and I can download the item. And since it's an image, so they they can choose to save the image. So that's how it would work. And on mobile, let's see, that's how it will be on a mobile device. So I'll close that. That's how you create a landing page on MailChimp. It's just how to create a template. As long as you have the content, you can create your template however you want. So I'll just click on save and continue so that I can publish my landing page. And then I need to add a page title and a URL. Okay. So this is just for the browser this is what will appear up here you see when i hover that so you can add whichever uh, title you want up there mine was called updated landing and if you want to change the link there you can change the link this is just for the same thing as campaigns so campaigns also have links you can change the links there after you change anything you click on save currently you can only host your landing page on mailchimp okay you can't embed it anywhere at the moment so you'll click on publish and as soon as i publish my landing page is going to be public and i can share it on social media if i want to market it on facebook i'll go to facebook and create a create an ad for the landing page There you go. You have a landing page and there's the link you can you can share the link. And then of course, you may want to create you may want to create uh, automations for this subscribers. Anybody who subscribes in here, you may want to create automations for them. And you know how to create automations. So, as soon as you create your landing page, copy this link and share it on social media or if you want to create ads about it then you can create ads on facebook to get people to get some traffic for this you can even add this link on your website so that people can come and uh, and get whatever you're trying to give to them or if you're trying to get them to join a particular product or you're trying to get them to buy a product or you're just giving something away for free in order to build your subscriber list then you share this link wherever you want to share it 
so that you can get traffic to this landing page so as i've said as of now you can only share links and the landing pages are hosted on mailchimp you cannot embed them anywhere as of yet okay so that's pretty much it for this video and in this video what we've done we have created this landing page okay and as i've said you can create your landing page however you want make sure you create the landing pages with good copywriting skills in mind so that you don't write huge blocks of text like somebody writing a novel most people are not going to read that so what you need to do is just break up your content using headings and list items you'll find that a lot of people will lose most people you'll get better results with that because people don't like reading nowadays and then use images as well you see the way there's an image here just put an image of someone using the product or an image that is related to that product or certain images if you're selling actual products especially if you're selling tech equipment tech gadgets or you're selling makeup whatever it is you're selling just put up pictures you can even put up pictures of how people are using the products step one how people are using this the product step two all of that you can put all of that here using the images that's it for this video and if you have any questions make sure you let me know and i will be sure to answer you as soon as i can so i will see you in the next video and in the next video let's come into lists and i saw that there was some change in how to in the interface for creating pop-ups so let's go into lists so that we can create our pop-up so you know if you want to create embedded forms and uh, pop-ups they all begin under lists because you first of all you have to choose a specific list so i will see you in that video if you have any questions feel free to let me know